Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1, bringing you the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Suetzi. Thanks for joining us. The government of Hungary believes that the European Union is making a mistake when it decided at its summit last week to postpone enlargement procedures with Albania and North Macedonia. Even though the majority of member states were in favor of EU enlargement, there was no agreement to open accession negotiations with the two countries. Thus, the issue will be placed on the agenda again in 2020. Hungary's Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister, Peter Siarto, said on Wednesday in Albania that it is also important from an economic and security point of view to admit countries from the Western Balkans. Last week saw a long and heated discussion among the heads of state and government of the European Union about whether Albania and North Macedonia can start accession negotiations with the EU. In the end, no agreement was made about EU enlargement. Among others, the Visegrad countries expressed their disappointment as well. The heads of government of the V4 countries called attention to the fact that further delay of accession negotiations for Albania and North Macedonia would weaken the stability of the Western Balkans and would significantly restrict the influence of the EU in the region. According to press reports, France strongly opposed starting the accession negotiations with North Macedonia. The authorities in Paris believe the country should implement several reforms before starting the negotiations. However, North Macedonia did everything so far the EU had requested. They've even changed the name of their country in order to reconcile with neighboring Greece. It is in Hungary's national security, national strategic and national economic interests to enlarge the European Union, stated Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister in Albania. We keep calling for the enlargement of the European Union as soon as possible, and we wish to have a Hungarian commissioner responsible for enlargement, because currently this would be the best guarantee not even for the acceleration of the EU enlargement process, but for its restart, as this whole process has been and remains stuck, Peter Siarto said. The Foreign Affairs Minister even met the Albanian Prime Minister, Edi Rama, on Thursday. After discussions, Siato said that Hungary, as a neighbor of the Western Balkans, explicitly understands the region's challenges and its crucial role from the aspect of Europe's security. The persecution of Christians and violence against them is increasing around the globe. That's what a new study says. Every day, more than 10 Christians are killed simply because of their religion. The study also notes that some media continued to ignore the issue or minimize the fact that Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world. The Hungarian government, meanwhile, has signed another agreement with an international charity to help communities in crisis zones. Destroyed houses, empty streets, ruins everywhere. This is how Aleppo and Syria looked like after the war. Many have fled, but many have died. Most of the healthcare institutions in the city's eastern part were destroyed due to the bombings. Hundreds of people were left without medical treatment. The Hungarian Charity Service of the Order of Malta had earlier done work on expanding the only hospital building still standing with the support of the government, and later it also established a new hospital wing. Besides that, it operates a doctor's office to be able to help the people living in nearby villages. The condition of the people and their exposure to sickness, these were shocking to encounter. So we tried to help by, for example, providing mobile doctor's offices. The only hospital that could remain functioning in Aleppo could do so due to our contribution, the father of the charity service said. Additional help will be provided soon for those living in the crisis zones. The government has strengthened its cooperation with the Sovereign Order of Malta. The ambassador of the Order of Malta said the order consists of 30 national organizations and is present in more than 120 countries worldwide. Imre Ugron emphasized their aim is to be able to provide help together for even more people. We endeavor to enable refugees to return to their homes or to be able to safely stay in their homes the ambassador of the order said. According to their plans, there will be more joint programs in the future in sub-Saharan Africa, in the Middle East and also in Asia. The state secretary for the aid of persecuted Christians said they agree with the order in trying to provide help for the people in the crisis zone itself, where it is most needed. Tristan Azbay pointed out the Hungary Helps program has aided tens of thousands of people to be able to stay at home. As in the past two years, according to our data, we have contributed to having 50,000 people who had been persecuted stay in their homelands. We have provided humanitarian help in countries such as Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Nigeria, Congo and Ethiopia. 
the state secretary said. According to a new report, violence against Christians has increased worldwide. Since 2017, persecution has intensified mainly in South and East Asia. According to the International Catholic Charities Service, last year Christians were exposed to a high level of persecution in 73 countries worldwide. Hungary will be the honorary guest country at the book fair in the Slovakian capital of Bratislava, which starts on November 7th. It's the first time Hungary has been chosen. More than 20 Hungarian literary works that have been translated into Slovakian will be released over the coming weeks. The four-day event features anchor readings, author readings, readings rather, concerts, plays, and film screenings. Honoring the dead in Hungary is officially observed on All Saints Day on November 1st, followed the next day by All Souls Day. Cemeteries are packed with family members and even tourists visiting famous mausoleums. So much so that extra police and municipal security forces patrol the areas in order to help handle the large flow of people. The police have even advised visitors to go on another day to try to avoid the crowds. And now a cold front is expected next weekend that might mean that flowers laid at graves may not last long. Traffic is getting bigger and bigger every day at the cemetery of Zolaegerszeg. Most people say they come during these days in order to avoid the masses of people on All Souls Day, as well as its eve. There were candles already burning at some graves at the public cemetery of Pech as well. People also took advantage of the nice weather here and clean up the resting places of their loved ones. The week before All Saints Day and All Souls Day, the police pay particular attention to cemeteries and to their neighborhoods. Namely, traffic is several times bigger than usual during this period. Policemen and municipal security forces assist first of all in traffic management, however they deal with jaywalkers as well. Traffic restrictions might even be expected during these days near graveyards. Traffic changes might be expected nationwide at more places around cemeteries. Congestion may occur and in many cases parking may become problematic, said the head of communications at the Municipal Security Association. Police call on cemetery visitors not to carry valuable things on them not to leave their bags unattended and not to leave anything in their cars. On the Treasure Trail is the name of an exhibition at the Dejer Lotsko Vesprem County Museum that presents valuable archaeological finds, specifically items that were found during a local excavation this past summer. During those digs, several hundred items were uncovered dating back 3,500 years. And Vesprame is also the site for a new photo exhibit displaying the best works from the region's photographers association at the city's community center. The Pannonia Photo Salon started back in 1978. And this year, its selection jury chose 56 pictures from 350 photos submitted. Included are nature shots, social settings, and even bird's eye view photos taken by drones. And before we leave, if you're a Hungarian soccer fan, and especially a Ferencváros fan, the team won Thursday night its first game this season in the Europa League, beating CSKA Moscow in the Russian capital 1-0. And that's all for now, but we'll be back again the next night live, right after the news in Hungarian at 11 p.m. local time. You can also catch us in repeats and online. Please stay tuned now, if you can, for our new shows in German, Russian, and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching, and Viso Natasha.